Will Isaac, Mr. Methhead, become the new Sam Dino Presidente? Or just President because they're not specs? Because if you look at the, and you do the math, if you look at Sam Bernardino and the well, numbers there's, not many, there's not many people left to contest him, is it? I mean, let's be Well, real. my logic is, right, I think the only guy that can contest him is Terry, but he's in the ICU, and the few members that are left clearly look to be back in Isaac, and if he's just killed a couple of mines while Terry greenlit the war, shaft at them, and is lying in a coma, essentially, why wouldn't you back this guy over Terry? Plus, I believe they say, that, I believe, what's her name, F Vanessa, or Jess Jessica? Aye. Jasmine, Jasmine, Aye. Jasmine said, um, by the way, you just haven't seen her in like fucking six episodes, but Jasmine said that even Terry is afraid of this guy when talking about his sponsor. So I don't know, and we, we assumed the sponsor was Tig, but his sponsor very well could have been Isaac. Yeah. It's weird though, like, why would, yeah, I mean, because I, I, when Tig got to the hospital, he spoke about Isaac, even though we didn't know it was Isaac. But he spoke about him, was like, oh, you know, that he's back, and even Tig seemed a bit not afraid, like. But Tig was like, like, wow, fuck, he's back. This guy, this guy's on the same level as me. And Terry seemed a bit like, ah, shit. So, I mean, maybe Isaac was actually the sponsor all along. Like, see, see, like, that's another thing, though. This Isaac guy, right? How can he go from this meth head that was like, like fucking, he could barely keep a rap on. Coco and Hope, and now what he's what he's going to take down the mine single-handedly. I get what you're saying, but I mean, I guess you could say he was strung out. He was on the gear. M maybe, yeah. Well, yeah. But I actually wonder. I know we're not going to get a backstory, like, but I would actually be intrigued to know what happened to Isaac and how he got. Like, I'm assuming he got kicked out the club. Yeah. Because if you look at it, I mean, look at the Mayans. The way Coco was missing for a bit, and they're like, "Yeah, you've got to go." I mean, I Maybe he wasn't, though, since his brother's Packer. And Tig mentioned, oh, blood runs thick there. The Alvarez. Mm. Um, Maybe he was a nomad. And you don't really have any. Well, I'll tell you what, right? I see if Packer's going to die next season. Right? I mean, Tig's fucking putting him over. Alvarez even put... They were fucking doing their best to put Packer Can we over. at least get one last scene with Packer? Yeah, with this guy? Aye. Giving him the gavel or something? Or, like, not the gavel, but, like, just saying to him? You carry on my legacy, brother. Yeah, literally, bro. Literally, bro. <laughs> and then Packer, and then... Like, see, could could that was so 10, no... Like, I know that was a good reveal, this guy, and, like, he, he burnt Manny alive. For me, he's a more intriguing character than Terry. Terry was... Oh, easily. But do you know how, do you know how this, this episode could have done seeing Packer, and, like, he could have been there? And then, like, when Tig comes out of the room with Terry, he comes out of the room with Packer, and they're like, mate... Yeah, but it was kind of... Like that. I know, but I think it was better the way they done it, where you just where he actually he's just there with Manny, like no for shock value, I think that was better. I know, but I think it would be good to see definitely in season five a scene with this guy and Packer. I mean, it's his fucking brother. Packer's a pretty over guy, and this guy in terms of films is probably the best time we've got right now. Mm. So I mean you've got to put the guy over. But maybe Packer just doesn't want to come back to the show and that's why they've written him out with the whole cancer thing. Maybe. We originally thought it was because they wanted it to have happy. Be running things. I mean, running things. Even that sounds stupid. But I, I, we thought we were just making that up to give Happy a reason to be there. But I mean, who knows? Maybe there's some differences between whoever runs the shoot. Maybe Parker's loyal to uh, what do you call him? Kurt Sutter, and he doesn't like being the show. Post Sutter could be the same way a lot of them chibs. Yeah. Again, I mean, see, you think about it though. I'll ring this Get, back see, to Chibby. See, getting chibs involved that could have been largely due to Kurt. Could have been maybe the reason Kurt done it. I know. Maybe, maybe Chibs doesn't like the direction the show going. Maybe Kim Colts just got different loyalties. We don't know where Kim Colts' loyalties lie, is it? I mean, Kim Colts did turn and say that uh, he'd come back if the writing was good, and I feel like in terms of what he did, it did make a bit of sense. It wasn't just from the gallery, like the rest yeah, of the I, show. I, I liked it. It's two scenes, but I mean, because it's two scenes are good doesn't mean the rest of the, the show is good or whatever, but um, yeah, I guess, I guess we'll see. But Isaac... I can't really see him. Maybe it'll be Sergeant Arms. It's just that the fact that so many members of San Dino got wiped out. You'd like to think this guy's got a plus his Packers brother. You'd, you'd like to think he'll have some sort of patch like. Well, I think I think he will be president, but I think with San Bernardino, it's like we've seen Mayans transition just to California. Or is, is the sun's going to attempt to go down a different fucking path? 
I mean, Sam Dino, like, they're going to have to move members over. Cause they've only got, like, four guys. Him, these three, and Terry. Maybe they only need four guys. Maybe Isaac counts for... Well, oh. that's, that's All not... you need is four guys don't have a home anymore. Santa Padre's not fucking many, got many guys either. Like... Tell you what, though, see Santa Padre, like, Creeper's gone. That's him done. Is it, though? He says admit it to everything. Aye, but he hasn't signed anything. So what, he's just going to be released after admitting to, what, f like, 33 murders? That's how, I mean, he hasn't signed anything. He could just retract that. Well, I was kidding on. And then what? Oh, so Clubbit did it? It was a fucking magical mystery, man. <laughs> it was Mr. Tumble. So you think that's him writing Creeper out? Creeper's never... No, I don't think he's written out, but I think he'll be in jail, like. That would suck, because he's fucking one of the more likeable fucking members they have. Damn I mean, right. I think apart from Gilly, he's probably the only likeable member they have. Yeah, I know, literally. Angel's beginning to come back to the good yeah, side. Still a but I think, it, I think it's only because he's, he's went so fucking left. Angel might seem like he's alright, but I guarantee you by episode 3 of season 5 he'll, he'll be back to being an arsehole. Moaning like fuck or something. Who knows? That's probably it. But, um, if, right, I'm calling it now. Isaac will be the new president. And even if he doesn't have the patch, right, he will literally be his top man right now. No doubt about it. Well, Terry seems afraid of him, like, so I'd put some... Yeah, and, and the way it was explained when Santa Padre were discussing at the table, this isn't sanctioned, this guy, by the uh, Charmin or anyone else. It seems like this guy's just going to go fucking ramble and start burning. And tell you what, like, to establish a felon by burning a bunch of Mayans alive it was a pretty good way to do it. Yep, so, aye, there you go. Because I think in terms of Mayans, like, Manny's was pretty high up. But do you not think maybe it was dumb them killing Coco if they actually planned on bringing Isaac back? Uh, could they not have had a show? It just makes no fucking sense to me, like... I know. Like, it almost would have been better if he burnt Coco alive. I, I think this is a bit like The Walking Dead when, you know, they're bringing Meryl back in season three. But they kill off T Dog before they even get the chance to meet. It was like, oh no! I think it's a waste. Anyway, that's it. Till next time. Will Isaac be the new president? I'm saying aye. What are you saying? Um, I think it'll be something. Like I don't know if you'll go straight to. See, in my opinion, it wouldn't be really realistic, man. If this guy can be excommunicated or whatever, or just decide we don't know if he got excommunicated. Yeah, then. well, what was he doing the entire time he was sitting in Meth Mountain? No, I know. I, I definitely get your point, but we have got to look at it from another point of view. The exact same happened to Coco. He came back. Yeah, uh, yeah, but let's be real. He wasn't. Um, he, we're wasn't under he wasn't made circumstances he wasn't made, here. He wasn't made president. Plus, he had that bullshit fucking excuse. It's not like he came out and said, "Oh, I was a junkie man." You know, I mean, he, I mean, he wasn't made president. This guy wasn't made fucking president. Yeah, but you're fucking. You're saying he will be. Uh, because there's no fucking other option. No, oh, there's Terry. What? I, this guy, he's fucking scared him. Well, we'll see. Maybe Happy will come back then and run things for a bit. Anyway, guys, till next time. Happy's in Burdu. <laughs> he's in Burdu. There's nothing left in Burdu. Right. Is this Fitz dragging on? Fuck it. Do you think he's going to be the new president? Let us know what you think down below. Until then, peace. peace.